Saturday, the 2nd of September, 2017. Uh, I'm at the back of the Dominican Basilica in Umbria. Um, noises off. Perugia, Italy. It's huge. been standing here for <coughs> the best part of 800 years. Now why shouldn't man build a huge beautiful building to worship in which to worship God, to glorify God? Why shouldn't they? Especially if one looks at Um, the first temple. Solomon built it. It was huge, beautiful, beautifully de decorated, and all the rest of it. But there's something in my spirit that rebels against this... <sighs> this particular basilica is not hugely decorated inside. The Mimican uh, basilica, the... San Pietro, the St. Peter Basilica, is, to me, horrendous, <laughs> absolutely dripping with gold and ceiling and paintings everywhere and all the rest of it. Who cares? I do, I'm afraid. What am I doing here in this traditionally very strong Roman Catholic country, and yet... My spirit now, at the age of 60, utterly rejects the authority of the Roman Catholics, of the Pope. I do not accept that any human being tells me what I should or shouldn't do in the way of loving God. It's a direct connection from each individual single human being to God. Not a massive organization which, amongst other things, tries to control human beings. Christ came to give us a message of love, not human control and management. But it's not straightforward or simple, clearly. Where two or more are gathered together in my name, there I am also. These are Christ's words, and that is why churches exist. We gather together, two or more people, to worship God. You need a place to do that. I'm happiest in a small, totally undecorated, simple little chapel, basically. That's me personally. I can feel this weight of oppression of the Roman Catholics here in Italy. Just in my spirit, I can feel it. By and large, the youth of today in Catholic countries, that's the ones I know, France, Ireland now, Italy, reject the Catholic Church, the Roman Catholic Church. Yeah, and then what about this longing, which to me exists in every human soul for something greater than oneself? This longing to love something greater than oneself. Well, to me the answer is clear. I love God through Christ. And that is the answer. <laughs> to this longing. So, it's not as simple or straightforward. The problem is, I think I've stated it, the solution is not simple or straightforward. What do you do with the building, which is 800 years old, and the very few people who attend it?
I'm praying for God's guidance as to what to do about it. It's a nice day now. We had beautiful, beautiful rain, and it's cooler. So there we are. That's the problem, and the solution is not straightforward. Christ had his difficulties with the Sadducees and the Pharisees. Matthew chapter 23 speaks of seven woes and you brood of vipers and such like. So. I'm not the first human being to recognize this difficulty. That's rather beautiful, isn't it? Cheerio!